Welcome to the post-processing tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to control video post-processing. Video post-processing is a process in which um, video artifacts created by the various compression formats are uh, removed after the video is decoded. There are two types of uh, video compression artifacts. There is blocking which uh, shows uh, rectangular block elements in the video. You can usually see uh, this uh, a lot in JPEG images. And the second type of artifact is ringing. You can see ringing quite clearly here. Uh, usually in sections where you have very sharp contrasting contours, you can see a lot of little ringing here. Um, when using FFD show as uh, the video decoder, you can mitigate the, the video artifacts using post-processing. To begin with, we will open the video decoder configuration dialog. This is FFD shows video decoder configuration dialog. And we head to the post-processing section. As you can see, there are different uh, levels of post-processing. Right now I am at level 2, which means the luminance or brightness of the image is processed uh, in both the horizontal and vertical. Uh, right now only deblocking, only the square type artifacts are uh, handled. By raising the level of the post-processing, you can see that now the chroma or image color is also processed and finally by raising it to the maximum you can see that the luminance and chroma are both deringed. The downside of uh, having such a high uh, level of post-processing is that it makes the image more blurred. So personally I preferred the second level and next there are several different uh, process processing methods. Uh, personally, I prefer Nix as it's uh, fast on the CPU and it uh, doesn't blur the image too much. There's also the Amplayer method, which uh, I didn't really enjoy because I found it that it creates a little bit of uh, flickering in uh, the background of the image. Uh, and you have the two SPP modes, the regular mode and the fast mode. Um, SPP is supposed to give the best image quality, but I find that it uh, blurs the image a little bit too much. And it uh, it's quite a bit heavy on the CPU. Another uh, thing to take into consideration is that post processing as a whole takes uh, a bit of uh, CPU power, especially at uh, high resolutions. So if uh, the movie is uh, dropping frames because the CPU is overloaded, you can simply uh, disable post-processing and it should give your CPU a little bit more headroom to de decode the image and hopefully the playback would be smoother. I hope this has been informational. Come uh, visit us again.